G'day, you rotten lot. Welcome back to the video. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Now, lots of us are going direct. You've seen the videos on the Boss IR2 and the HX Stomp and all that sort of stuff. We really love them. Uh, we run HX Native as well. But today, we are going to be checking out some amp models from this old Sony unit. Uh, this thing was released in 1994, so these amp models are 30 years old. Let me repeat that. 30 years old. Now, there's no IR or anything like that. This is These old style of um, modeled amps were more of like an EQ curve sort of thing. So they're sort of like just taking your direct signal and EQing it to sound like it's going through a specific style of amp. Now this Sony HR GP5 has got four different amp models in it. Now they're a little bit ambiguous. There is the F-Type, the B-Type, the M-Type, and the J-Type. Just let me mute my computer there while I'm getting emails. Now, each one has a little description. The F-Type simulates a twin speaker tube uh, reverb. The B-Type simulates a single speaker valve amp. The M-Type simulates a large stack type amplifier. And the J-Type stimulates a bright twin speaker integrated amplifier. So that's the description that they've given. Now there's also some microphone choices which I'll go through at the end because they do actually make a pretty big difference. But right now I have an amp sim, some compression, a bit of reverb. And that is it my friends. So I'm going to dive over here into the edit window so we can change the amp models and have a listen to them all. All right, so I flicked it over to F. This emulates a uh, twin speaker integrated tube amplifier. This is B. Emulating a single, uh, single speaker amp. making sure I've got it on M because the encoder knob is a little bit uh, dicky. This is M, this is the uh, big stack amp. And this is the J type, which is the, uh, what's it called? Simulates a, brin a bright twin speaker integrated amplifier. Now these all sound pretty good, they're all nice and clean. Um, I'll turn them on and off and give you a quick listen to the difference. So you can hear that's just raw Stratocaster straight into the door now. Uh, it's still going through the uh, reverb. Back on, it actually does sound a lot more ampy, doesn't it? Right now, I've also I've gone back to the the first uh, one, which is F, I believe. Where am I? Oh, oh, F. There we go. Because this unit also has a couple of different overdrives and distortions in it, so I'm just going to put an overdrive in the front and give you a listen to all four of them with a bit of drive as well. Bear with me here. Exit. Drive. On. Edit. Edit. Amp. Type. All right. All right, so this is the first one again. This is the F-Type, which is the twin speaker integrated tube amp.
Not bad for a digital overdrive and a digital amp sim. This is pretty cool. And, you know, bear in mind, this is 30 years old. All right, this is the 1x12 speaker. This is the uh, bigger stack style emulation. This is back to the uh, the clean one. This is the last one, the uh, J type. <laughs> Pretty sure the Marshall style one or the M style stack one is my favorite. That last one sounded pretty honky, didn't it? So, uh... Now there is also a couple of different microphone placement options, four of them to be exact. There is the front, which simulates the sound heard directly from the front of the speakers. There is slant, which is simulates the sound heard slightly from the left or right of the front position. Upper simulates the sound heard slightly above the front position. And on simulates the sound heard when the microphone is turned on. I think there might be a little bit of Japanese to English translation, translation loss there. You would hope that all of the microphone emulations were turned on all the time. But anyway... I will push the button. Mic on. So this is how it sounds in the front position. This is the slant position. This is the upper position. And the one that I've had it on this whole time, which is the on position, because that was my favorite. And the joys of getting old. All right, let's listen to these microphone positions one more time. This is the front position. This is the slant position. This is the upper position. And this last one again, my favorite is the on position.
Well, there you go. There is some 30-year-old um, amp emulations and amp models with the different micro microphone positions from our friends at Sony, who, yes, 30 years ago, did actually dip their toe into the guitar effects universe. And I personally am glad that they did. There is some really cool effects in this unit, which I will go through individually. There's some really cool stereo flanger phases and choruses and some really cool stereo delays. Um, and some pretty cool intelligent harmony pitch shifting, which for 30 years ago was, was absolutely unheard of. So I will go through all of those for you in a different video. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this one. Please help us out by uh, subscribing and giving us a thumbs up and leaving a comment. It really helps out. Tiny little channel. And we appreciate anything you do. So thank you for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.